last September. Hearts are without new £200,000 signing Graham Hawke because of suspension, but have a solid, confident look about them. And a lot of that confidence stems from the form of goalkeeper Henry Smith, who today goes for his fifth consecutive shutout. Neither he nor Nicky Walker managed even two in a row during the disappointments of last season. Another man who started the season in terrific form is Scotland striker John Robertson, who's been here 11 years except for a brief spell at Newcastle. He scored five goals in the six games to date, two of them from the penalty spot. There's the Hibs line-up, which is without under-21 international Willie Miller, who's suspended. But like Hearts, the Easter Road side are chock full of confidence. It's many a season since they made such an impressive start in Cup and League. Hibs have given a new lease of life to goalkeeper John Burridge, who'll be 40 in December. Manager Alex Miller is currently talking to him about extending his loan period from Newcastle United. He's managed two shutouts in the past three games. A lot of Hibs' excellent results can be put down to the arrival of striker Keith Wright from Dundee for £500,000. Apart from scoring three goals in the opening six matches, he has also played the role of goalmaker and made a huge difference to the team up front. The referee is Mr Brian McGinley from Balfour, who's in charge today of his 12th Edinburgh derby. So the match gets underway in front of a big noisy crowd here at Tynecastle. The clouds has cut out by Scott Crabbe. Gary Mackay headed away by Orr. McGinley bundled off the ball by Derek Ferguson. That's where the free kick to Havana. That's the Hearts manager Joe Jordan, who was out on the pitch with his players during the warm up, along with assistant manager Frank Connor. You see Frank in the picture. Cross McKinley, a little battle going on there with Gareth Evans. Evans going well now through to Weir. Right racing through. And again, the pace of Levine, crucial for Hearts at the back. Good defending by Craig Levine to make up a fair bit of ground there. Mitchell's throw to Weir. McKinley, the first time pass. Mitchell Henry Smith climbing, he's lost it there but it's the referee awarding the free kick it was Graham Mitchell's cross Smith looked reasonably comfortable the challenge going in from Gareth Evans and Smith then diving at the feet of Weir McGinley swooping on it Toss McKinley for Hearts. Running into a bit of trouble. The referee having to move in quickly. Toss McKinley and Gareth Evans getting involved. And the Hibernian player being called over by the referee. Well, Evans claiming an elbow was used. Tosh McKinley racing forward. Real scrap going on between the two players. The referee moving in to sort it out. It's going to be a booking for the Hibs player. The yellow card is shown to him. So the first booking of the afternoon. Ball well, pushed behind by Tommy McIntyre. And he was put under pressure by John Robertson. So Hearts have the corner, and again, McPherson moving forward with Levine. McPherson taking up position on the near post. Eric Ferguson with the corner. It's Levine climbing, getting the touch. And the ball dipping over the bar from John Robertson. Well, Craig Levine so dangerous at these set-piece situations. Climbing well, and John Robertson Sending the ball over the bar. Crabbe and Miller combining. Another high one for Baird. 
Now a free kick awarded to Hicks. That'd be indicating Beard back to, to McIntyre. Well, a real battle going on between a central defender and the heart striker. Referee free saying that Beard backed into the defender. Touch on by McLeod to Weir. That's right. Evans laying it off to Hamilton. No real problem, though, for Henry Smith. Brian Hamilton, former St Mirren player. One goal to his credit this season, but uh, the shot after a good build-up. Going high above. Robertson shielding the ball well, leaving it to Gary Mackay. Challenge going in from Graham Mitchell. Evans. Robertson for Hearts. Gary Mackay. Adam McLeod back in the edge of his own area. It's intercepted by Derek Ferguson. Now it's John Miller. Well challenged by McLeod. Ball up for Keith White to chase, but uh, an off the ball incident involving Tosh McKinley and Murder McLeod. And this time Tosh McKinley in trouble with the referee. He's already been spoken to. And as the ball was played forward, the two players flashing. By playing it forward in the direction of Keith Wright and taken down by McKinley. So McKinley joins Evans in the referee's book. McIntyre's free kick. We are out jumped by McKinley. Intercepted though by McLeod, does Pat McGinley now switching the play out to Gordon Hunter. Gets a second bite at it. Taking on McPherson, great play by Hunter. Well, he really took on McPherson. He got a second chance at it. And then lovely footwork, leaving the hot defender trailing. to Graham Mitchell driving it forward good effort well he struck that from fully 25 yards it was well taken by Smith you can see him looking around and then he decides to fire the ball forward curling in at that post and well taken by Henry Smith ball for Robertson to chase Mueller with him Play by Robertson, flipping it forward, headed behind by McIntyre. Again, good defending by Tony McIntyre. Excellent play by John Robertson. Again, full of running, getting away from Neil Orr and providing the cross. So Derek Ferguson's corner. They've been climbing high. Again, the high boot from Alan McLaren. He's already been warned about that. And the free kick awarded to Hibbs. Gareth Evans bouncing in the ball. Well, he's disappointed with that. He got a bit of space, but firing it high over the bar ball coming off the head of McLaren suddenly plenty of space opening up but a disappointing effort now the free kick to Hawks and Baird fouled Tosh McKinley driving it in. Touch on by Crab, almost finding Robertson. Well, Crab getting his heel to the ball, flipping it into the path of John Robertson, and almost creating the opening. Claren again, supported by Derek Ferguson. 
Craig Levin flipping it forward. McPherson's in there again. So it is McLaren. John Robertson threatening the ball. Swept behind by Neil Orr for the corner kick. Two hearts. Levine well forward. And again it will be Derek Ferguson. Levine just moving into the area. Derek Ferguson's cross. McPherson's up there. Levine getting the touch. Well, good effort by Ian Baird. Again, the aerial menace of hearts at the set piece. McPherson and Levine causing problems. And as the ball was put forward by Levine, there was Baird with the effort. There goes the half-time whistle. Well, a lot of the disappointing first half. Very few highlights indeed. The half-time score here at Tynecastle. Hearts nil, Hibernian nil. So John Robertson kicks off the second half. Robertson, the most prolific scorer in the history of this particular fixture, with 17 goals to his credit. And Hearts have the best unbeaten run in these league derbies. 17 matches unbeaten between September 1983 and October 87. Crab for Hearts, to Baird, Crab again. Good play by Scott Crab. Oh, an excellent effort, and the save by John Burridge. Very positive play by Scott Crab. A little touch there, taking the return pass, getting away from Gordon Hunter, and launching the ball forward with his right foot. Burridge happy to push that one behind for the corner. Which is taken by Derek Ferguson. There's Crab again getting in the shot, away by Pat McKinley. Tosh McKinley now for Hearts, trying to find John Robertson, but the free kick awarded two hips. Free kick against Robertson for his challenge on off. But the Hearts fans getting right behind the team now. for Hearts or out jumping Robertson Hearts have the throw in Mackay and Robertson combining Mackay's cross comes all forward goalkeeper under pressure but a free kick awarded for Baird's challenge on Burridge striker not at all happy about the decision but it's playing for the ball and the referee got that one right again well controlled by referee Brian McGinley free kick the water to Hearts it's getting mighty tough out there Way marked by Craig Levine. The ball from Levine to Robertson. McLaren coming in support. Hearts with plenty of men forward. Gary Mackay. A high one into the middle looking for Baird. But bricks to Miller. Weird back helping in defence. Claims for handball. The referee though right on the spot. Waving play on. Now it's hips on the counter attack. Ball played through by Hamilton to right. Evans racing through the middle. So two is we are. Henry Smith under pressure, a good catch by the goalkeeper. Well, one moment, Hearts pressing forward and suddenly caught on the break. And a difficult one for Smith. Outside the area, 
Well, this was excellent play by Scott Crabb, holding off the challenge of Hunter. And McIntyre coming across, and between them, they took the player down. The referee, in fact, has awarded a corner to Hearts. Ferguson to take it. Well, Hunter and Weir getting it away between them. It's Crabb again. Beard. Getting away from McGinley. McLaren with Mackay White. Person. Miller. Derek Ferguson. Robert Person had made up ground, got himself into a good position for the cross. Mitchell going forward, being chased by Robertson. Good interception by Levine. Beard very much on his own, looking around for some support. Shot with the pass cut out by Mother McLeod. McIntyre sending a long one forward, looking for the head of Keith Wright, he gets the touch. Now Gareth Evans was challenged by Alan McLaren right on the edge of the area. The Hibs man felt that they'd been impeded. The long ball forward from McIntyre. Nice little touch on from Keith Wright. Derek Ferguson under pressure from Pat McGinley. He does well. Finds Gary Mackay. Takes the return. That's with plenty of men forward. John Miller driving it through. It takes a deflection. Just Kept in play, I thought, by Burridge. Well, the linesman signalling a corner, but the linesman was not at all up with the play. Well, taking a deflection. Well. Eric Ferguson's corner. Claren, back to Ferguson. Levine's in there. Mackay shot right across the face of goal. High ball coming across from the left. Go all the way through to Mackay. Just needed the touch. Hey, Mackay. Touchdown by Crab. Well, Gary Mackay involved in a clash with McGinley. Pat McGinley being called over by the referee. Now uh, you see the players colliding. McGinley books McGinley. Fourth booking of the afternoon. It's left to Scott. Crap! Side of goal, the Hearts fans put it gone in it, into the side netting. A wonderful strike by Scott Crabb round the wall and into the side netting. Keep right getting the touch on. Driven forward by Gareth Evans. Well taken by Henry Smith. Just a little flick on. Pushed into the path of Gareth Evans. We are doing well. Gets it to right. McGraw breaking on the left. Mark McGraw getting in the cross. The ball dipping just over the crossbar.
Well, good play by him. It was Keith Wright sending the ball through to McGraw. And the first time cross, an anxious one for Henry Smith. So Cal Nolan comes into the fray, but very little time left. McLaren sending it forward, looking for Miller. Getting a touch. John Robertson didn't quite connect properly, but always carrying a goal threat. A long ball played in. Miller did well here, giving a ball in play. And there was Robertson with the first time shot. There goes the final whistle. Well, Tom Penn shakes all around, but a disappointing match. The final score here at Tyne Castle, Hearts nil, Hibernian nil. Nando, you must be reasonably happy with the result. Hibs taking more out of the game, perhaps, than Hearts. Yeah, obviously, coming to Tyne Castle, it's always a difficult game. And we felt uh, we played well enough to deserve a point today and keep our good run going. The away results particularly must be pleasing to you. That's right, we've been to Motherwell, which is always very difficult. Kilmarnock in a cup match and come to Tynecastle and we're unbeaten. So obviously everybody's very happy. Now, I know space was tight here today, but uh, we didn't see too much of Murder McLeod having a pot at goal. Um, I think I had about 52 headers today and uh, there wasn't much played in the deck. It was a typical derby match. It was 7-10 stuff, but the ball was in the air a lot. 